Hey guys, we're up in the mountains. We're doing a little bit of camping. I brought the Jeep with me and I brought several products that I'm going to be working on for a review. One of which is the Rock Pals 250 watt power bank. Now I received this about a month ago directly from them. They sent it to me to field use and be able to make a full review of it. And I've used this about seven or eight times on numerous trips. I've used it in real hot weather, real cold weather, and I've traveled to some pretty remote areas with this. The Rockpals RP250W has upgraded the AC output to 250 continuous watts with a 300 watt surge max. It has dual AC outputs, two USB 2.1 A's and four DC 12 volt at 60 watts each. The weight of this unit is five and a half pounds and it has enough power to charge most smartphones 25 times, laptops three to five times, and you can even run a small TV with this. Now I've used this primarily for my lighting kit that I use for filming. And so I needed something pretty compact that would work with household items and so I'm able to plug both of my lights into this unit and run them continuously through the night. The power bank does have five blue lights that are going to show the increments of power that you have left in the unit. I have personally found them pretty difficult to see in direct sunlight. They work really well at night. They're really easy to see. But this is one thing I would have liked to have seen them improve is just more of a precise way of telling how much power is left in the unit. So you can recharge this unit three separate ways. You can use the AC outlet which can charge this unit in about six to seven hours. You can use a 12 volt car charger which, which takes about six to seven hours. And you can use a solar panel which they do have, I don't have one of those, but I do have a 120 watt panel, which I have used, and it only takes a couple hours to recharge it, which is perfect for me because a lot of times I'm out in the field and I just need a way to recharge the unit if I'm gonna be out for more than three or four days. One unique feature about the Rock Pals 250 is it is a pure sin wave inverter. And so what that means, it's gonna run a lot smoother, it's gonna run cooler, and there's less of a chance of it harming any of your devices. And you usually find this on units that cost at least two or three times the price. And so it's definitely a nice feature to add to this unit. The power bank has a really simple switch that's located on the left side of the unit to turn it on and off. I'm able to fit this in the back of my Jeep very easily. This is a very compact, lightweight unit, and I like the fact that it has a carry handle. One thing I always bring with me is a solar panel. This is a fold-up panel, folds into like a suitcase. You can see, you know, it's not very thick, doesn't take up much space. This is 120 watt. I got my LED light kit that I use for filming at night. This has got two flat panels and two tripods and all the wiring harnesses that I need to set up and plug into the power bank. I have a Tacticam scope camera that is mounted to my scope. And this is what I use to record a lot of my hunting videos. And for me, it's nice to have this power bank because I can just place it next to the gun and I can plug that camera directly into the power bank, charge it, you know, do other things around camp. And then when I'm ready to go out and do some filming, it's charged, it's ready. Otherwise, I'd have to pull this battery out and charge it or pull the camera off. And so to put it back on, you know, requires a little bit of setup. And so for me, it's a lot easier just to leave the camera on there and charge it with something like this. So for me, it's definitely been helpful.
For this trip, I thought it would be fun to pull out some of the vintage gear. I brought a kerosene lantern. I brought a pre-World War II folding chair that I received from my grandfather. And I've got the vintage Coleman stove, which you guys may have seen in my past video. Along with that, we're just using the TP style tent. I've got the buddy heater in here with some extra tanks that should last us through the night, along with some pretty warm sleeping gear. And so we should be good tonight. It's supposed to get into the high 20s, and so it's gonna be pretty cold. We're gonna have a small campfire, do some cooking, and as usual, have some coffee and hang out. That was a long, brutal hike. I think we did probably about four and a half miles. I saw one cottontail and it scurried up a hill and was gone. I think the cold weather just really makes them uh, hunker down. Maybe we'll have some better luck in the morning. Right now I'm gonna dig a fire pit, get that started and situate a few things for the camp and we'll probably cook some dinner. I went ahead and got a fire started. Right now I'm just getting some coals on the fire. We're gonna cook dinner and make some coffee, hang out for a bit. It is definitely getting colder. And so I'm glad that we brought the heater for the tent. And uh, I just gotta get a few more pieces of firewood to last us the next couple hours. And then I'm gonna throw the grill on here and we'll do some cooking. Are you happy? You're a hungry girl, aren't you? You're hungry. Are you hungry? For me, the 250 watt is more than enough for an overnight adventure. I'm able to run both of my light kits. I can charge all my camera batteries and I can charge my phone. And I've still got enough power the next morning, you know, that's left over. I can always hook it up to my solar panel, recharge it in a couple hours. And so for me, the fact that it's so small, you know, it works well in the Jeep for when I come out here. And when I get home, you know, I just charge it from my household outlet. And that way it's all set for my next trip. Because I come out, you know, at least, at least once a week to film. And so I have gotten quite a bit of use out of this power bank. So I made myself a sandwich. This is a deli roll. It's got salami, bacon, tri-tip, uh, cheese, and pickles. And I toasted it on the grill. And it's perfect. And yes, Marley is gonna get some. I'm gonna finish my dinner here, and then uh, we'll make some coffee. I got some new coffee I wanted to show you guys.
I've already had about six trips with this unit. I've used it, I've abused it. And a couple weeks ago I stayed out in the high desert. We did an overnight trip and it got down to freezing. I had this outside. I wanted to see how it was going to handle the cold. And I got to say it handled it really well. And so I can tell this is a well-made unit. It's definitely something that should last. And I just like the, the fact that it's so compact. We're going to continue to charge our stuff through the night. And then tomorrow morning we're going to get up and we'll check and see where the power is. And that will give us a, a better idea of you know how much use we can put through this unit for one night. Being a fan of vintage gear, I ended up finding this old kerosene lantern at a Goodwill store for five bucks, and so I couldn't pass it up. Seems to work pretty well. This is actually the first time I've ever used one, and I gotta say it works pretty well. Doesn't do so good in wind, obviously, um, but if you're in calm conditions or if you had this you know maybe towards the entrance of your your tent it's definitely enough light to be usable well guys Marley and I are hunkered down in the tent and I gotta say it's really warm in here it's got to be about 85 degrees I'm gonna take my jacket off and my boots I've got a new sleeping pad I'm gonna be trying out tonight that has a pillow built into it it already seems to be pretty comfortable and we got plenty of blankets and uh, I've got the Tacticam charging right now on the power bank we're just gonna hang out for a little bit get some sleep and we'll see you guys in the morning guys we've been up here for a solid two days I've done a lot of filming I recharged all my cameras last night I ran the light kit for about six and a half hours and I recharged my phone and right now we're at 60% and so I could definitely squeeze probably another day out of this and so I think for most people a unit like this would be more than adequate you know if you're going to be coming out you know going camping and you just need something to be able to charge your phones um, you know your cameras or any other small devices I think this is an excellent unit it's treated me really well I like the simplicity of it and I like the versatility of being able to charge multiple devices with it I really only see two problems with this unit and one of which is the percentage rate for being able to tell how much power is left in the unit. This really just isn't a very precision way of letting you know how much power is in it. And two, it's really difficult to see. Now in nighttime and low light conditions you can see it, but during the day, like now, you just really just can't see it. It's difficult. You gotta cup your hand and really kind of see it. Even then it's kind of dim. And the other thing that could be a problem for some people is you cannot use it while you're charging it, which is kind of a downfall of the unit, but for me it's not really an issue. I'm able to charge other things to, on my vehicle, and uh, this really doesn't take very long to recharge. I can, you know, use this with a solar panel, I can plug it into my vehicle while I'm driving down the road, and so that... I really like. I like being able to charge it while I drive to a location and that way I've always got my power bank topped off. My final thoughts are for under $200 this is a really good unit. It's treated me well in this past month. 
and it's definitely helped me, you know, with coming out here and doing my videos. It's nice being able to recharge everything, and it's nice having a small compact unit that fits into my Jeep so well. So it is very easy to travel with, and I think this size, a 250 watt, would work for the majority of people. Now, if you're going to be out, you know, for about seven days, you know, you may want to go with a bigger unit. But, you know, for a couple days, or if you wanted to pick up their solar panel, this would be more than worthy to, you know, use for a long-term use. Well, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you were able to learn a little more about this power bank. We've enjoyed using it the past couple days. It was nice to get out and do some hiking and some camping. And I got some great use out of this. It was definitely nice being able to run my light kit and recharge my cameras. And I really like how compact this is. It fits into my Jeep really well. And it's just really easy to travel with and charge. And so I'm happy with this unit. I think others would be as well. If you guys have any questions that I haven't answered, please leave a comment and I'll try to get back to it as quick as I can. Or you can visit our website at mountainsportairguns.com and just shoot me an email and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. I really appreciate you watching and we'll talk to you soon.